Hi guys, it's Cindy, aka Disney Queen. Today I'm coming to you with an unboxing, so stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy, aka Disney Queen. Today I'm coming to you with an unboxing, and it's a special one. Um, I don't know if you know by now, but I love to collect things. And one of the things that I have kind of become obsessed with is Funko Pops. And a specifically, usually, Disney Funko Pops. But today I have two different unboxings. Well, technically I've already taken them out of the box because I tried to record this and something happened to my recording. But anyway, we won't talk about that. Um, long story short. So recently um, I got to watch Mary Poppins, finally. And uh, before I watched the movie, I had been online looking at Funko Pops from Amazon and I told my son about it and uh, felt like this was many, many months ago. And then after that, I kind of forgot about it and didn't think about it anymore. And then one day a box came in and I thought it was for him. So I put the box up to where he could get to it. And then he came later on and he said, mom, this box is for you. And I was like, what is it? So when I opened it up, it had Mary Poppins in it. And Mary Poppins is, um, I love the original movie. Um, when I finally got to see the new movie, I actually loved the new movie too. I loved the music in the new movie. I loved the kids in the movie. Um, it kept my attention. I watched it by myself, um, which rarely happens that I watch a movie by myself, but I did. Um, and this came in a couple of days before I watched the movie. So it was like, like perfect. Um, it is number 51 and it has her peeping out over there on the side. It said Mary Poppins and it says pop and it says Mary Poppins um, number 51 and that's what she looks like. And that's what it looks. the box looks like from the front. I'm actually going to take it out of the box and we all know um, Dana don't have a fit I'm gonna put it back in the box because <laughs> I usually take my items out of the box and keep them out of the box but for some reason I haven't been able to do that with the Funko Pops um, and she is super cute like look at her big eyes there is another version there's a couple of newer versions um, that are like the new Mary Poppins but I wanted the old school Mary Poppins and so this is her hat and see her little details on the, the flowers details and her big eyes and then you see her scarf and she's carrying her little bag and you see her little dress peeping out and then look guys look at the umbrella and then if you turn around to the side that's her profile on that side and you can see the umbrella even more and then she has and she has her white gloves on and then that's the back. Look at her bun, guys. That is so cute. And then her scarf is showing. And her little dress is still peeping out. And her little tiny feet. And then this is the other profile. And I love her little rosy cheeks. Like, the detail on this is really, really good. You know, sometimes when you can't pick them out yourself, you're not really sure what you're going to get. But the one that I got was really, really good. And I really, I really, really like that. She is super cute. So that is my Mary Poppins. Um, I don't have a big list of Funko Pops that I want to get. I would say I want a couple more of the princesses. I think I want Snow White and the dwarfs, some of the dwarfs. Uh, my favorites are uh, Dopey Sleepy and, um, um, oh gosh, why can't I think? Grumpy. Uh, <laughs> they kind of remind me of my son, my son-in-law. <laughs> And my husband so those are the three that I want um, to go with Snow White and then I've seen Alice in Wonderland I would really like to have Jasmine because Jasmine was my oldest daughter's favorite princess and then I'd like to have the Little Mermaid because that is my youngest daughter's favorite princess um, I'm kind of particular when I collect things it has to have a certain kind of sentimental value to me I don't just collect it because you know, I want to collect it. Um, 
so there's not like a lot of them that I want but there's just a few so I thought that was the only one I was going to be showing you and then um, I don't know if you know I am a big Royals fan like not the sports Royals but the Royals in in a uh, good old UK and I followed Diane from the moment that she married Prince Charles and fell in love and like had books about her um, I had cutouts from when she got married um, I cried when she she died um, I followed her boys all through their life um, when William and Kate got married I did like a party for William and Kate's um, wedding with um, my youngest daughter we had like a tea breakfast tea and then when Megan and Harry got mad, married last year, we did this big breakfast, like the full-on um, uh, British um, English breakfast with the beans and the sausage and the eggs. And like I did scones and little sandwiches. Like we had a really good time. We had tea. And we all got dressed up, had little hats on our heads. Anyway, yeah, I'm a little obsessed with the Royals. Um, and so I was all excited last week when they had their baby. And again, don't look on Amazon because Amazon will get you in trouble. I had just a little bit of birthday money left over um, and I saw this on Amazon and I was like okay I have to get this I have Harry and Megan pop um, you can tell it's different from the Disney pop because it doesn't have a number it just says it has two figurines um, fig uh, yeah figurines and it says pop royals the Duke and Duchess of Sussex um, vinyl figures and then it has different languages and then it has Funko and then it has Harry and it has Megan and then on the side it has the Duchess of Sussex and on this side it has the Duke of Sussex um, and it has them peeping out at the top of the box and on the back it shows um, the two figures and they also have the queen in her green dress that she wore to the wedding there is a William and Kate and there is a Diane I think I really want the Diane and I might get the queen um, I don't think I'm gonna get William and Kate um, well let's take them out and look at them and I love it has like a back of card guys it is so cute okay so It has a back of card, and the back of card is the flowers that they, the little arch flowers in the front of the chapel when they went, uh, when they were getting married and where they kissed at. Let's take this. Is Harry? He is so cute. He has his uniform on. And it's very detailed. It has his red stripes down the side. He has his hand out because he's holding her hand. Um, it has some of his emblems and his belt. Uh, let's see. This is the back of him. That's the side. And I don't know if you know, usually when they have their uniforms on, they have to cut their um, beard. Um, and everyone was wondering if he was going to cut his beard for the wedding, but he didn't. And he actually had it, so they kept that in here in the in the final two and he is so cute but my favorite my favorite is my girl so this is Megan's and it's got her flowers it's got her simple dress I loved how simple her dress was it was very modern um, I love that she had little dainty earrings on nothing over the top she had her hair back in a bun she had her crown her tiara and this is the side view and she has her hand out so she can hold Harry's hand and this I didn't really notice until I opened it up but guys look at her veil 
and it also has the lace on the side that she had on her veil and this reminded me of my daughter when she got married the one thing she wanted is she wanted this really nice long um like uh, uh veil veil with um like the lace on it um and that's what she had at her wedding as well When I saw it, when I pulled it out and I saw this, I was like, oh, it kind of reminds me of when my daughter got married. And then her flowers. And that's her. And then this is the two of them together. And see how they're holding hands? That is so cute. So those are my newest pop, Funko Pop. Um, like I said, I don't have a long list, um, but that's a few that I want. Um, and I will be putting them back in their box. <laughs> I, I really, 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 I probably should never have introduced myself to Funko Pops because now I feel like I got myself in trouble, but I have a small collection. The only other ones that I have are, I have Cinderella, of course, and I have a Mickey Mouse one, and um, that's it. So I haven't gone crazy, and uh, most of them my son has bought. <laughs> so uh, I just thought I wanted to, I would share it, even though this one isn't a Disney one. It's still a Funko Pop. It's still cute. Um, it's about a princess, uh, and so. That is my Funko Pop unboxing for the month of June. Um, don't see me getting it anymore anytime soon. Unless somebody comes out with like something really, you know, spectacular. Um, I would really like Tiana, but Tiana is like crazy expensive. I don't know why she's so expensive. The average one that we've seen is like um, between $9.90 and $10. Um, even my Mickey one, I got at Target for like $7.80. But Tiana is like $40. And I, I just can't do it, people. <laughs> $40 is a lot of money. And actually, I've seen it go for like $80. And I'm like, because I guess she's in her green dress, I could get Tiana in the blue dress, but I really want her in her green dress. And the green dress one is expensive. So... It might not make the list, <laughs> uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, in the month of June, you're going to get like a randomness of stuff uh, because I just don't know what I'm going to do. June is a busy month for us um, at church, and we got a lot of other stuff going on. So I knew that, you know, my I didn't want my videos to be sporadic, um, but they might be a little random. So... <laughs> That is the month of June. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And if you'd like to see the next video when it comes out, all you do have to do is hit that notification bell. So until I see you the next time, have a blessed day. Bye.